I've got my pages here and I will be using Alin's Tacky Glue to glue the pages in. Adding glue on both sides of the hinge. Yeah, making sure I have it. Haha, <laughs> I didn't even test this, but now I want to make sure that my page has the longer of the two sides on the bottom and I will open it up so that I can place this over the hinge making sure that here at the bottom I'm flush and whatever is left over is over here so now I will press and also I don't want my page to sit all the way against the spine I would like a little bit of room to maneuver my page this way and that so I will fold this over and train it in place take your time with gluing this in place I mean don't do this quickly now and now we're going to the second one again making sure that the largest one is to the bottom put it on making sure it's flush on the bottom Tapping it lightly in place and fold it over. Yeah, maybe a little bit too much glue. And fold it over. And I will do the rest and then we'll be adding the envelopes. So the final few things to do is um, place the envelopes on our pages and insert our inserts. So how I have my envelopes is I have four light sets and four darker sets. It's how I folded the envelopes in the beginning. So I will alternate the envelopes and I will start with a dark one. I'll just glue them down and I've already put my double sided tape on here. You know what? I do want to add some glue just in case. Kind of center this and press. I already put my um, recipe cards in it. I rounded the corners. Rounding corners makes paper easier to guide into the pockets. So the first one is in. Now I will continue gluing the rest in and I will show you when everything is in and finished. The last one is glued up and ready to go and I thought to show you how it all is quite bulky so for the last one it's not a big one so I'm going to center this and also don't place them too close to the spine this way the spine has more room to turn the pages I mean so pressing down a little bit and yeah because of all the other ones are in here everything is quite bulky and press from the other side so now the book is finished Let's put the inserts in. One on each page. And we'll see how this turned out because I'm also curious about the spine and everything. So everything is finished and I've been looking at it and I came across a few problems still. My spine here is still not as you know it doesn't really fit the way it should and maybe because I didn't glue it to the spine but that's my choice because I figured if it's loose from the spine it has like room to move so the other problem is I have a soft cover but I find this a little bit too soft it's too flimsy so I decided to do something about it instead of leaving it like it is because I was not comfortable with it. I unstitched this side of the stitching. I loosened the cover from the core. So I've got some chipboard and I rounded the corners so that it will easily slip in. I blackened the edge so that you don't see the white if it doesn't completely cover. And this chipboard was not enough so I grabbed another one that is thinner and you know if you can see the difference 
So if I place this in here and this one in here, so now it is a lot sturdier. So I will do the same with the front. I will do the unstitching here. I've used a variegated thread that I can see. And on the back, the bobbin had black thread, so I can't see that. So I will be afraid to cut in my fabric. And I will stitch this close again with a zigzag. And then I will do the same with this one. I will unstitch first and then insert another piece of chipboard and close it back up again. So it's finally finished. And I'm really happy I addressed the issue of the covers. Now it's much more sturdier. So you wouldn't believe how many videos this took and how many takes and editing and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy it's finally finished. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think and uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Well, I hope you have a great week and see you next time. Bye.